Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce this type of chocolate confectionery traditionally made with a chocolate ganache coated in chocolate, cocoa powder, coconut or chopped and toasted nut, usually in a spherical, conical or curved shape. English call it chocolate truffle, but how do you pronounce it in French? You will say truffe au chocolat, truffe au chocolat, truffe au chocolat, truffe au chocolat. Did you know that the name truffe au chocolat derives from their resemblance to truffle, edible fungi of the genus Tuber? Yes, the expensive mushroom. I hope you enjoy this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel and watch more videos about food pronunciation. A bientôt, salut. Bonjour everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this female sex organ, the duct extending from the uterus to the vulva. So English a vagina. But how do you pronounce it in French correctly? You will say vagin. 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 Please do not pronounce it vagin. It's vagin. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel. A bientôt. Salut. Bonjour everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this female sex organ, the duct extending from the uterus to the vulva. So English a vagina, but how do you pronounce it in French correctly? You will say vagin, vagin, vagin. Please do not pronounce it vagin, it's vagin. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel. A bientôt, salut. Bonjour and welcome to a new French pronunciation. Today we will learn how to pronounce this famous number. Adults know really well this number. Don't ask me why, but they know this number. So English pronounce it 69, but our French pronounce it correctly. They will say 69. 69. 69. Did you know that the number 69 is a unique blend of the number 6 and the number 9? The energy of this number symbolizes tolerance, kindness, familial bonds. Not really in relation with what I was thinking. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel for more French pronunciation. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome to a new French pronunciation video. Today, we will learn how to pronounce the name of this famous French professional footballer who play as a central midfielder for Juventus and for the French national team. Despite high and low in his career, he is still a very known player in France. So how do we pronounce his name? We will simply say Adrien Rabiot. Adrien Rabiot. The T at the end of Rabiot is silent. Do not pronounce Rabiot, but Adrien Rabiot. Did you know that the mom of Adrien Rabiot is known to have a very bad influence on him? And she is a source of a lot of scandal in France. Don't always listen your mom. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to our channel to support my work and then watch more videos about French footballers just right there. Have a good day. Au revoir. Bonjour and welcome. Today we will learn how to pronounce one of the most iconic 
French bread that is always associated with French and France. So, how do you pronounce the name of this delicious bread? In French, we will say baguette. 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 And if you are in the bakery, you will say une baguette, s'il vous plaît. A baguette, please. S'il vous plaît, mean please. Did you know that the stereotype is true? The French really do crazy for baguettes and consume approximately 6 billion of baguettes per year. 6 billion, it's huge. Okay, I hope you really enjoyed this video. I need to go and eat my baguettes. <laughs> Joke aside, please do subscribe to our channel and watch other food video pronunciation. See you, à bientôt. Bonjour and welcome to a new French pronunciation video. Today, we will learn how to say the name of this French footballers who play as a forward for La Liga Club Atletico Madrid. Still on loan from Barcelona, he is known for his attacking, passing and supportive defense. So how do we pronounce his name? We will say Antoine Griezmann. Antoine Griezmann. Antoine Antoine Griezmann. Did you know that Antoine Griezmann played more than 100 games? 108 games exactly for the national French team. It's huge and French people love him. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to learn how to pronounce more names of football players, click just right here. And please do subscribe to my channel to support my work. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome everyone to a new French pronunciation video. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this mythical French actor and filmmaker known as the male Brigitte Bardot. He was one of the Europe's most prominent actor and screen sexy symbol from 1960 to 1980. Yeah. He's a legend in France and even internationally. So how do we pronounce his name correctly in French? You would say Alain Delon. Alain Delon. Alain Delon. Alain Delon. Did you know that in France, Alain Delon is known to really have a big ego? He's really proud of his self and of his achievements. And since many years now, he's very discreet. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today, we will learn how to pronounce the longest word in the French vocabulary. 25 letters for this word. And basically, it means again the constitution. So how do you pronounce the longest word in French language? You will say anticonstitutionnellement. Anticonstitutionnellement. Repeat if you want to impress your friend during dinners or party. Anticonstitutionnellement. Ah là là. Anticonstitutionnellement. Yes, it's a very long word and kind of hard to say, but it's super good to know this word. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel and watch more videos. For example, this word with even longer than anticonstitutionnellement. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we are looking at how to pronounce the name of this very important body part. It is opening at the opposite end of our digestive tract from the mouth. 
and its function is to control the expulsion of the poo poo, the residual semi solid waste that remain after food digestion. So, how do you pronounce it correctly in French with a typical French accent? You will say anus. Anus. Un anus. Anus. Uh, did you know that it's very important to get a check because if you check yourself, you can catch anal cancer in his early stage. So you can control how melanoma happens, but it can be addressed early if you keep an eye on your butt. So please, guy, check your butt and make your butt healthy. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel. A bientôt. Salut. Bonjour everyone, today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this very famous French Malian pop singer. She is known worldwide with the song Jaja. Oh Jaja. So how do you pronounce her name correctly? You will say Aya Nakamura. Aya Nakamura. Aya Nakamura. Did you know that the name Aya Nakamura comes after the character Hiro Nakamura of the NBC Heroes science fiction drama series? I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my video. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this famous French cake that you can find in all the French bakery called Baba Orum. The origin of Baba Orum comes from the Babka, a yeast cake that can still be found in Poland and Ukraine. In fact, Baba means grandmother, while Babka means something more affectionate roughly translating to little grandmother. So, how did a Polish cake made it to France? I don't know, but the correct pronunciation is Baba au Rhum. Baba au Rhum. So, to pronounce Rhum correctly, you will pronounce the H and the U like a O. Rhum. Baba au Rhum. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do subscribe to our channel and watch more super nice videos about French pronunciation. See you, bye bye. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce a word that have a double meaning. The first meaning in French is kiss. Un baiser. Un baiser means a kiss. But the second meaning means to make love in a vulgar way, to F, the F word. So, how do you pronounce this word correctly in French? You will say baiser, 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 baiser. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome to a new French pronunciation video. Today we will learn how to pronounce correctly the name of this French luxury fashion brand founded by Pierre Balmain in 1945. So how do you pronounce Balmain? You will simply say Balmain. 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 I hope you enjoyed this video. I wish you a great day. If you want to watch more video, please do subscribe to our channel and watch the other video just right here. Bye. Bonjour everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this French footballer who play as a right back for Bundesliga club Bayern Munich and the French national team. He is very known for his goal against Argentina. He was the surprise of this World Cup. So how do we pronounce his name? We will simply say 
Benjamin Pavard. Benjamin Pavard. Benjamin Pavard. The D at the end is totally silent, so do not pronounce it and just say Benjamin Pavard. Did you know that before the 2018 World Cup, Benjamin Pavard was unknown in France and he was the revelation of this World Cup? All the French still remember his wonderful goal against Argentina. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce this very important ingredient in France, especially for breakfast and for cooking. French eat a lot, especially with jam and bread. So how do you pronounce it correctly in French with a typical French accent? You will say beurre de micel. Beurre de micel. Beurre demi sel. Did you know that salted butter in France contains 3% salt, which is added after churning? And half salted butter, beurre demi sel, has between 0.5 and 3% of salt. It's a bit less. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel and watch more videos about food pronunciation. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this city located on the Bay of Biscay, on the Atlantic coast in the Pyrénées Atlantic department in the French Basque country in the southwestern France. It is located 35 kilometers only from the border with Spain and it's a luxurious seaside tourist destination no for the Hotel du Palais. Ah, so how do you pronounce it correctly in French? You will say Biarritz. 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 Did you know that Biarritz is also known for the multiple surf spots? I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour les amis and welcome to a new French pronunciation video. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this delicious French meal. It's a ville ragout in which neither the veal, neither the butter is brown in the cooking process. To refrain from browning meat and fat in this way is to cook them in a blanket. So how do you pronounce it correctly? You will say blanket de veau. Blanket de veau. Blanket de veau. In French, V-E-A-U makes the sound veau. Did you know that in France we say that there is as many blanket recipe than inhabitant? Yes, everyone has his own small touch recipes of blanket de veau and that's the magic behind this meal. I hope you enjoy this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel and watch more videos about food pronunciation. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome everyone! Today, we will learn how to pronounce the name of this French beef stew braised in red wine, often red wine from Burgundy and beef stock, typically flavored with carrots, onion, garlic and a bouquet garni. And you can also garnish it with pearl onion, mushroom and bacon. So how do we pronounce the name of this very famous French recipe? You will say Bœuf bourguignon. Bœuf bourguignon. Bœuf bourguignon. Bœuf bourguignon. Did you know that beef chic are the perfect cut for your beef bourguignon since they absorb all the flavor in the pan and the meat surrenders completely? I hope you enjoyed this video. I wish you an amazing day. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video. Bye bye. Salut.
Welcome everyone, today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this French brand of jam, marmelade, compote, dessert, cake and biscuit owned by Andros and that French people love but also people from foreign country. So how do you pronounce this brand correctly? You will say Bonne Maman Bonne Maman Bonne Maman Did you know that Bonne Maman was created by Andros in 1971 as a mass-produced product with a homemade feel with a handwritten steel label, gingham patterns, motif Vichy, and the name meaning Granny. Bonne Maman. I actually love it. Bonjour everyone, today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this port city on the river Garonne in the Gironde department located in the southwestern France. It is the capital of the Nouvelle Aquitaine region as well as the prefecture of Gironde department. And it's also called Little Paris because it seems to be a little Paris. So how do you pronounce it correctly in French? You will pronounce it Bordeaux. 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 In French, the letters E-A-U do the sound O. So Bordeaux. Do you know that Bordeaux is the world capital of wine with its castle and vineyard of the Bordeaux region that stand on the hillside of the Gironde and is home to the world main white fair Vin Expo. Bordeaux is also one of the center of gastronomy. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel to support my work. Thank you guys in advance. A bientôt, salut. Bonjour everyone, today we will learn how to say and pronounce the name of this traditional Provençal fish stew originating in the port city of Marseille. It's a very very known dish in French but quite expensive. So how do you pronounce it correctly? You will say bouillabaisse. 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 Did you know that there is a lot of scam in France about bouillabaisse? A lot of restaurants sell bouillabaisse, but it's not really a bouillabaisse, it's more like a soup fish. The authentic Marseille bouillabaisse must include rascas, bony rockfish which live in the Calanque and reef close to the shore, congre, European conger, and grondin, sirobin. Yes, that is authentic Marseille bouillabaisse and it's quite expensive. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to this channel and watch more videos about food pronunciation. A bientôt. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today I'm excited to be with you because we will learn how to pronounce one of the most difficult words in French, especially for foreigners. So. How do you pronounce this word that means kettle in English? French will pronounce it bouilloire. Bouilloire. First step is to say bouille, then war. Bouilloire. Une bouilloire. Please do take the time to pronounce it at home. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel. I wish you a very good day. A bientôt. Salut. Bonjour everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of one of the most famous French actresses from all the time. She's a former French actress, singer and model famous for portraying sexually emancipated character with hedonistic lifestyle. You know who I'm talking about. So how do you pronounce it correctly in French? You will simply say Brigitte Bardot. Brigitte Bardot. 
the T at the end of Bardo is totally silent. So you will say Brigitte Bardo. Did you know that since many years Brigitte Bardo is retired from the showbiz and she's now really involved in protection of the animal and the environment? I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel. A bientôt, salut! Hi and welcome for a new pronunciation video. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this delicious French bread made with egg and generous butter content, with a rich and tender crumb. It's not really a bread or a croissant, so how to pronounce it? We will say brioche, brioche, I repeat, brioche, brioche. So if you cannot say the air like the French do, you can also say brioche. It's not perfect, but it's already good. Because French will always appreciate your effort when you speak. For the little story, the first brioche appear in the 14th century in Normandy. It's the region in France where we do delicious butter. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to this channel and you can also watch more videos on how to pronounce Viennoiserie name and bread in French. Bonjour everyone, I'm happy to see you today or to be with you today to learn how to pronounce a new word and is a bit complicated. English say rubber, but in French we always make things complicated. So how do you say it in French correctly? You will pronounce it caoutchouc. Caoutchouc. So here the C at the end is totally silent, so do not pronounce it and simply say caoutchouc. Caoutchouc. Did you know that caoutchouc is also called Indian rubber, latex, Amazonian rubber, caoutchouc, caoutchouc for French, and it consists of polymers of the organic compound isoprene with minor impurities of other organic compounds. Thailand, Malaysia and Indonesia are free of the leading rubber producers. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel and watch more videos. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome to a new French pronunciation video. Today we will learn how to say correctly in French the name of this very famous brand that design, manufacture, distributes and sell jewelry all around the world, Cartier. Yes, Cartier is regarded as one of the most prestigious jewelry manufacturers in the world. So how do you pronounce it correctly with a typical French accent? You will simply say Cartier. 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 I hope you enjoyed this video about French pronunciation. If you want to watch more videos, click just right here and please do subscribe to our channel to support our work. Bye, bonne journée. Bonjour everyone. Today we will learn how to say correctly the name of this very famous French dish. It's a hearty, slow simmered stew of sausage confit typically duck, pork and white beans. It's one of the great hallmarks of French country cuisine. Quite heavy though. The best versions are cooked for hours until the bean and meat meld into a dish of luxuriant velvety richness. Wow! So how do you pronounce it in French correctly? You will say cassoulet. 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 Did you know that cassoulet is known in French to give flatulence? So please do not eat cassoulet for a first or second date with your loved one. I hope you enjoyed this video. I wish you an amazing day. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video. Bye bye. Salut. 
Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this French actress as well as an occasional singer, model, producer considered as one of the greatest European actresses. She's still alive and she's a legend in France. So how do you pronounce her name correctly? You will pronounce it Catherine Deneuve. Catherine Deneuve. Catherine Deneuve. Catherine Deneuve. Did you know that Catherine Deneuve gained recognition for a portrayal of icy, aloof and mysterious beauty for various directors, including Jacques Demy, Louis Bunuel, François Truffaut or even Roman Polanski. She is still performing in some movie and I really recommend you to watch the movie of Catherine Deneuve. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel and watch more videos of French actor and actress. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce correctly the name of this very expensive food and very exclusive, not necessarily from France, even if France produce his own caviar, but how do we pronounce it correctly with a typical French accent? So you will say caviar, caviar, caviar. Did you know that traditionally the term caviar refers only to raw from wild sturgeon in the Caspian Sea and Black Sea? I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome to a new French pronunciation video. Today we will learn how to pronounce correctly the name of this very famous French ready-to-wear and leather luxury goods brands that has been owned by LVMH, LVMH since 1996 and founded by Céline Vipiana. So how do you pronounce Céline? You will just say Céline. 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 Did you know that Céline was founded by Céline Vipiana and her husband Richard in 1945 as a made-to-measure children's shoe boutique that was located at 52 Rue de Malte in Paris? I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to watch more video about French luxury brands, please do subscribe to our channel and see you soon for a new video. Bye! Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of the most famous street in the world and this street is located in Paris. We all know about, there is songs about and this street is running between the Place de la Concorde in the east and the Place Charles de Gaulle in the west where the Arc de Triomphe is located. So, how do you pronounce it? You will say Avenue des Champs-Élysées. Avenue des Champs-Élysées. Avenue des Champs-Élysées. Did you know that Parisians don't really go to Avenue des Champs-Élysées? It's more a street for the tourists. So, if you want to eat good food or to shop in a very nice luxury store, Choose other destinations like Faubourg Saint-Honoré or restaurant in Le Marais or Saint-Germain-des-Prés, for example. I hope you enjoy this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome to a new French pronunciation video. Today, we will learn how to say and pronounce the name of this French luxury fashion house that was founded by the couturier Coco Chanel in 1910. This brand focuses on a woman's ready-to-wear clothes, luxury goods and accessories. So, how do you pronounce Chanel? It's very simple, you will say Chanel, Chanel. 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 
Did you know that in her youth, Gabrielle Chanel gained the nickname Coco from her time as a singer As a fashion designer, Coco Chanel catered to woman taste for elegance in dress with suits, trousers, dresses and jewelry. I recommend you to watch the movie Coco Chanel, it's great. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to our channel to support our work and you can watch more videos. Bye, salut! Bonjour and welcome to a new French pronunciation video. Today we will learn how to pronounce a word that French people use a lot because they love this category of food made with cured meat, dry sausage and pork in varied preparation. The Spanish have the jamón ibérico, the Italian the copa and the French the saucisson for example. So French will pronounce charcuterie, charcuterie, charcuterie. Charcuterie is rooted in the belief that nothing from the animal should be wasted, not even the heart, lung, kidney, fat or brain. The word was used to describe shops in 15th century in France that were selling products made out of pork, including pig's internal organs. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Even if you are vegan, <laughs> you can subscribe to our channel and watch more videos on how to pronounce food in French. Bye, salut! Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this major train hub in Paris and one of the largest underground station in the world. Opened in 1977, it is a central transit hub for the Paris metropolitan area. So how do you pronounce it correctly in French? Before that, please do subscribe to my channel to support my work. Thank you so much. Okay, back to pronunciation. You will simply say Châtelet les Halles. Châtelet les Halles. Châtelet les Halles. In French, the H is totally silent and the S of Al is also silent. Do not pronounce Châtelet les Halles. It's totally wrong. Châtelet les Halles. Did you know that Châtelet les Halles hosts 750,000 travelers per weekday? It's huge and you have many subway station and RER station as well. And recently Châtelet les Halles was refurbished so now it's very nice. You have restaurants, malls, stores and many things. I hope you enjoyed these videos. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce a new word that have two meanings and it's tricky, so watch the video until the end. The first meaning is, of course, the female cat. Une chatte. Une chatte. Okay, so it's quite easy to pronounce. But the second meaning is pussy. Une chat means a pussy. So be careful when you use this word because French like to say it as a sexual word. Oh, une chat, a pussy. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome to a new French pronunciation video. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this very famous French viennoiserie called in English apple turnover, made with a delectable apple compote filling, with peeled and cored apple, flour, sugar, cinnamon, puff pastry, beaten eggs. Mm. So how do you pronounce chausson aux pommes? You will simply say chausson aux pommes. 
chaussons aux pommes. Chaussons aux pommes. Pommes mean apple. Did you know that if you eat the chausson aux pommes right after it go out from the oven, you will burn your tongue. Do not do that. I did it and it's very painful. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. I wish you an awesome day. But please, before, subscribe to our channel and like this video. A bientôt, see you. Bonjour and welcome to a new French pronunciation video. Today, we will learn how to pronounce probably one of the hardest words from the French language. It's very hard for a foreigner to say this word. English say surgeon, but in French, we make things complicated. So how do you say it correctly? You will say chirurgien. Chirurgien. Chi, rurgien, chirurgien. Please do practice at home, chirurgien. Did you know that chirurgien go to a long, long study, special in France? It take more than 10 years to become a real chirurgien. It's very long, so we need to respect this guy. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel and watch more videos about pronunciation in French. A bientôt, salut. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Imagine, it's winter, you are in the mountain, in the Alps, in France, and you want to order a hot chocolate after a long, cold day. So how do you pronounce it correctly? You will say chocolat chaud. Chocolat chaud. Chocolat mean chocolate. Chaud mean hot, warm. Chocolat chaud. Did you know that chocolat chaud in French is a hot drink made with chocolate or cocoa powder, also sometimes sugar added to milk or water? I personally prefer it with milk. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel and watch more videos about French pronunciation. A bientôt, salut. Bonjour and welcome. Today, we will learn how to say the name of this chocolate frosted oblong pastry filled with delicious whipped cream or custard. Usually, Classic chocolate éclair have a creamy vanilla pastry cream filling. It's almost like a vanilla pudding with a proeminent vanilla flavor and not too sweet. So, how do you pronounce it? You will simply say éclair. Éclair. Éclair au chocolat. Chocolate éclair. Éclair à la vanille. Vanilla éclair. Did you know that French are crazy with éclair? They love éclair in all the different flavor. And it's also one of my favorite dessert, personally. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as eating a delicious chocolate éclair. If you like, please do subscribe and like this video. And if you want to watch more video, click just right there. I wish you a good day. Uh, bonjour and uh, welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this Alsatian French recipe made with sauerkraut, with sausage and other salted meat and charcuterie and often served with potato. So how do you pronounce it in French correctly? Before that, please do subscribe to my channel to support my work. So you will say choucroute. Chou, croûte, chou, croûte. Did you know that sauerkraut is not good when you have like a romantic night because you will fart a lot. So don't invite your girlfriend for chou, croûte, the first date. Okay, it's not good. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel. A bientôt. Salut. Bonjour and welcome everyone. 
Today, we will learn how to pronounce the name of this uh, French dessert that sometimes English people call clafouti, but it's French and it's made of fruit, traditionally blackberry, arranged in a buttered dish and covered with a thick flan-like butter. The clafouti is dust with powdered sugar and served lukewarm, sometimes with cream. So how do you pronounce it in French? You will say clafouti, clafouti, clafouti. Did you know that a traditional limousin clafouti contain not only the flesh of the cherries, but also the nut like kernel in the stones. So you have to eat the nut of the cherries in the real clafouti. I hope you enjoy this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel and you can watch more videos about food pronunciation. A bientôt. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this female erogenous organ capable of erection under sexual stimulation. A female homologue of the male penis, the clitoris develop from the genital tubercle of the fetus and it play an important role in female sexual response. So, how do you pronounce it correctly in French? You will say clitoris, clitoris, clitoris. You have to pronounce the S at the end to say clitoris. Did you know that the body of the clitoris is suspended from the pubic bones by a short ligament and emerge to form a tiny external glance at the top of the vulva. Lying over the glands is the sheets of skin known as a clitoral hood. The gland has a generous supply of sensitive nerves ending, which accounts for the clitoris central role in tactile sexual stimulation. Ah, so interesting. I hope you enjoyed this video If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel. A bientôt. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today, we will learn how to pronounce the name of this delicious French meal made with duck that tastes like a mixture of meaty and fatty flavors. The meat is soft, yet it retains a slight chewiness and the fat has a slightly nutty taste. So how do you pronounce in French the name of this delicious recipe? You will say confit de canard, confit de canard, confit de canard, confit de canard. I hope you enjoyed this video. I wish you an amazing day. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video. Bye bye. Salut. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce correctly the name of this French dish made with chicken braised with wine, lardon, mushroom and optionally garlic. Yes, I'm talking about coq au vin. So to pronounce it correctly, you will say coq au vin, coq au vin, coq au vin. Did you know that coq in French mean rooster? So originally this recipe was made with rooster meat. That is quite tough. So you really have to cook it for a long time. Nowadays, more and more people use traditional chicken to make coq au vin. I hope you enjoyed this video. I wish you an amazing day. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video. Bye bye. Salut. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this French dish of delicious meat wrapped around cheese, then breaded and pan fried or deep fried, made out of veal or pork. And children love this dish. So how do you pronounce it correctly in French? You will say cordon bleu. Cordon bleu. Cordon 
bleu. Cordon bleu. Did you know that unfortunately the cordon bleu is really bad for the health? It's generally made with processed food. So please don't give too much cordon bleu to your children even if they love it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel and watch more videos about food pronunciation just right here. Bye, salut. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce a complicated word in French. In English, people will say male. But in French, we always like to make things complicated. So we will say it courrier. 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 I repeat, courrier. Did you know that the company who handles the courrier in France is called La Poste? La Poste is a French own company that handles all the mail in France. And sometimes they work a bit slow, unfortunately. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel. A bientôt, salut, and watch more videos as well. Uh, bonjour and welcome. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this very famous French dessert, also known as Burn Cream or Trinity Cream. It is served in many restaurants in France and for sure you know it. So how do you pronounce it in French correctly? You would say crème brûlée. Crème brûlée. Crème brûlée. Crème brûlée. Did you know that the earliest known recipe of a dessert called crème brûlée appeared in François Massialot Cookbook in 1691. The name of the book was Cuisinier Royal et Bourgeois. It's a very old book indeed, an old recipe. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel. A bientôt, salut. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this famous dessert from Spain but also from France, because it's from Catalonia. Catalonia is a region both in Spain and both in France. So how do you pronounce this dessert quite similar to a crème brûlée? So you will say crème catalane. Crème catalane. Crème catalane. Did you know that crème catalane is a custard made from egg yolk, milk, sugar, corn flour in a modern recipe and some aroma like lemon zest, cinnamon or vanilla with a crepe caramel crust. And it's really known in many restaurants, especially in the south of France. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome. Today we will learn how to say correctly the name of this very thin pancake that come from France and that people all over the world love. And that English call crepes. So how to pronounce it with a typical French accent? You will simply say crepe, crepe, crepe. So the E at the end, like most of the time in France, is silent. So pronounce the P instead of the E and don't say crêpe or crêpe, but just crêpe. Crêpes are originated in Brittany, a region in the west of France. There you can find the crêpe very sweet, perfect for dessert, but also the galette made with buckwheat. Perfect, for example, with ham and cheese. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do subscribe to our channel and like this video. You can watch more videos about food just right here. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this delicious French sandwich made with fried or grilled cheese, ham 
and a poached or fried egg. So how do you pronounce it correctly? You will say croque madame. Croque madame. Croque madame. Did you know that a croque madame is simply a croque monsieur topped with a sunny side up or a poached egg? Yes, there is an egg and that's the difference with the croque monsieur. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel and watch more videos, for example, Croque Monsieur, right there. A bientôt, salut. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today, we will learn how to pronounce the name of this dish originated in French cafe and bars, serve as a quick snack. It's a hot sandwich made with ham and cheese. So how do you pronounce it correctly in French? You will say Croque Monsieur. Croque, monsieur. Croque, monsieur. Croque, monsieur. Did you know that the name comes from the French word croque, meaning bite in English, and monsieur, mister. Bite, mister. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel and you can watch more videos just right here. A bientôt, salut. Bonjour everyone and welcome to a new French pronunciation video. Today we will learn how to pronounce a special word. If you look at the spelling, it's kind of complicated. So how do you pronounce it correctly in French? English will say pic, but French make always things more complicated. So we will say cueillir. Cueillir. Que, year. Here, the letter C, U, E, I will make the sound que, que. And then, double L, I, R will make the sound year. So, que, year. Please do practice this word at home. It's really important to master French pronunciation. I hope you enjoy this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel and watch more videos to master French pronunciation. A bientôt, salut. Bonjour everyone. Today we are here to learn how to pronounce one of the most complicated words from the French vocabulary. And it's a word that you will use a lot because it's very common. English say spoon. But in French, it's way more complicated. So how do you say it correctly? You will say cuillère. 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 Here, the double L makes the sound Y. So say cuillère. Did you know that in the Philippines and in some of Did you know that in the Philippines and some country they use the cuillère instead of the knife? Yeah, they use the cuillère as a knife. Very interesting. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel and watch more videos to master the French pronunciation. A bientôt, salut. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today, we will learn how to pronounce the name of one of the most famous delicacy of French cuisine, where it has been considered as a national delicacy. English like to call it frog legs, but how do you pronounce it in French? You will say cuisse de grenouille. Cuisse de grenouille. Cuisse de grenouille. Grenouille. Cuisse de grenouille. Did you know that cuisse de grenouille is popular in France, but it's not a dish that we eat that often. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel and watch more videos about food pronunciation. A bientôt, salut. Bonjour everyone. Today, we will learn how to pronounce correctly the noun as, but in French, how do you say it perfectly in French? You will see it's a bit tricky. So you will say Q. Q. 
cul. Un cul. Do not pronounce the L at the end. It's totally silent. So do not say cul, but just cul. Did you know that French like this word and they have a lot of idiom with the word cul? One that I like is j'en ai ras le cul. J'en ai ras le cul. It means I had enough or I have enough. J'en ai ras le cul. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel. A bientôt. Salut. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this French stew made with inexpensive beef braised in wine, vegetable, garlic and herb de Provence and traditionally cooked in a daubière or braising pan. Okay, so how do you pronounce it in French with the correct accent? You will say daube provençale. Daube Provençal. Daube Provençal. Did you know that a traditional daubière is a terracotta pot that resembles to a pitcher with a concave lid? Water is poured on the lid which condenses the moisture inside, allowing for the long cooking required to tenderize lesser cuts of meat. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel. A bientôt. Salut. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this French politician who has served as Prime Minister of France since May 2022. It's very recent. She is a civil engineer, government official and manager of state enterprise in the transport and construction sector. So how do we pronounce her name correctly? We will say Elisabeth Born. Elisabeth Born. Elisabeth Born. Elisabeth Born. I hope you enjoyed this video. I wish you an amazing day. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video. Bye bye. Salut. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this French politician who has served as Prime Minister of France since May 2022. It's very recent. She is a civil engineer, government official and a manager of state enterprise in the transport and construction sector. So how do we pronounce her name correctly? We will say Elisabeth Born. Elisabeth Born. Elisabeth Born. Elisabeth Born. If you enjoyed this video, I wish you an amazing day. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video. Bye bye. Salut. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of the actual French president since 2017, Emmanuel Macron. So how do you pronounce his name correctly with a typical French accent? You will say Emmanuel Macron. Emmanuel Macron. Emmanuel Macron. Emmanuel Macron. Did you know that Emmanuel Macron was the youngest French president of all the time? He was only 39 years old when he got elected in 2017. It's very young. I hope you enjoyed this video. I wish you an amazing day. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video. Bye bye. Salut. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce correctly the name of this premium cut of beef used in France for steak and roast. So how do you pronounce it correctly? You will say entrecote. 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 Did you know that a traditional entrecote is a boneless cut from the rib 
parts corresponding to the stake known in different parts of the English speaking world as rib or ribeye, scotch filet, club or delmonico. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to our channel. A bientôt, salut. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce one of these speciality dish from French that foreigners like to talk about and French loved. You know what I mean? I'm talking about snail. So how do you pronounce snail in French with the correct accent? You will say escargot. Escargo. Escargo. Did you know that escargo are considered edible in certain areas such as the Mediterranean region, Africa or Southeast Asia, while in other cultures it is considered as taboo food. In French, we love it, especially with persilled butter. Mmm, un vrai régal. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel and watch more videos about food pronunciation. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce a difficult word from the French language. English say easily armchair, but French make it more complicated, more delicate maybe. So in French we will say Fauteuil. Fauteuil. Here the second syllabus is what is complicated. So pronounce it œil. Fauteuil. 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 Did you know that to pick a good armchair you will need a seat that should be firm and you should be able to get out of it with ease your arm should sit comfortably on the arm set and your feet should be comfortable on the floor very important so check this criteria when you get a new fauteuil i wish you a very good day i hope you enjoy all these videos that i do for you if it's the case please do subscribe to my channel a bientôt, salut. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we are looking on how to pronounce in French the name of these two fleshy masses at the posterior part of the pelvis in the human species and in certain mammals. So, how do you pronounce it correctly in French? You would say fess, fess. This noun is feminine, so you will even say une or des fesses. Fess. Did you know that if you walk every day, you can have more muscle into your fesses? Yes, it's the first things to do if you want to have muscular butt to walk. So guys, don't forget to walk every day. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome everyone! Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this specialty food from France made of the liver of a duck or goose and really known all over the world. So how do we pronounce it correctly in French with a typical Parisian accent? You will say foie gras. Foie gras. The E at the end of foie and the S at the end of gras are silent. So, foie gras. You can say foie gras de canard, duck foie gras, ou foie gras d'oie, goose foie gras. Did you know that foie gras is extremely controversial even in France because to fatten the bird ahead of slaughter, they are force-fed with more food than they would naturally eat in the wild. This process is known as gavage. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel and watch more videos about food pronunciation just right here. A bientôt, salut!
Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this famous fondue from France where piece of meat are dipped and cooked in hot oil. It's a very good. Usually it is served with a number of dips which are based on mayonnaise. It was created and first served in Lausanne, Switzerland, so it's not really French, but French love it. And usually we use a beef. So how do you pronounce it correctly in French? You will say fondu bourguignon. Fondu bourguignon. The E at the end of fondu is totally silent, so do not pronounce it. Fondu bourguignon. I hope you enjoy this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel and watch more videos about food pronunciation. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome everyone! Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this melted cheese dish shared in a communal pot called caquelon or fondu pot over a portable stove. With that in the mountain, in France, in Switzerland also. So how do you pronounce it correctly? You will say fondu savoyard. Fondu savoyard. Fondu savoyard. Savoyard come from Savoie. Savoie is a region in French where there is a high mountain, the Alp mountain. Uh, did you know that if you lose your piece of bread or potato in the pot, you have to go naked outside of your house, of your apartment? That's a tradition in French. So be careful, don't lose your piece of bread. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce correctly the name of this chocolate sponge cake made with a very rich filling based on the German dessert Schwarzwalder Kirstort. Sorry for the pronunciation, ladies and gentlemen. But in English we call it Black Forest and in French we call it Forêt Noire. So again, how do you pronounce it correctly? You will say forêt noire, forêt noire. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to this channel and watch more videos about food pronunciation. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome to a new French pronunciation video. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this classic French cake that is traditionally made with sponge cake, genoise, cut in half, imbibed liberally with a simple syrup flavored with alcohol or not, filled with a crème pâtissière and topped with almond paste. You recognize this cake? I'm talking about le fraisier. So how do you pronounce it correctly? You will say fraisier. 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 Did you know that fraisier cake is derived from the French word fraise, meaning strawberry? That's why we call it fraisier, because generally it's made with a lot of strawberry. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please subscribe to our channel, it's really help us. And you can watch more videos about food just right here. Have a good day, bonne journée, salut! Bonjour and welcome everyone! Today we will learn how to pronounce the famous French fries but in French. So how do you pronounce correctly French fries in French? You will say frites. 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 You have to pronounce the R like the French do. So, frites. Did you know that the French fries are not French? Ay, 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 such a disappointment. Yes, they are from Belgium. But I guess it was maybe more sexy to call them French fries than Belgium fries. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel and watch more videos about food pronunciation. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome! Are you ready for a new French pronunciation video? Today, we will learn how to say cheese in French with a typical French accent. Either you are passionate about food or learning French, it's very important to know the correct pronunciation in French. So, we would say fromage, 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 fromage. Do not pronounce the i at the end, like fromage or fromager, but just fromage. People say that there's as many cheese as there are days in the year, but in reality it's much more. According to the famous guide to Romic cheese, there will be more than 1,600 cheeses in France. Either you like fromage or not, please do subscribe to our channel and like this video. You can watch more videos about food just right here. Bonjour everyone, today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this French actor, filmmaker, businessman, vineyard owner, who very is a legend in France. So how do we pronounce his name correctly? We will say Gérard Depardieu. Gérard Depardieu. Gérard Depardieu. Gérard Depardieu. Did you know that Gérard Depardieu has worked with over 150 film directors and he did so many movies as actors? Did you also know that Gérard Depardieu is a close friend with Vladimir Putin, the president from Russia? I don't know if we have to be proud of this, but it's a fact. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel for more videos and I wish you a good day. Salut! Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we are looking at how to pronounce the name of this iconic French luxury brand and perfume house that hosts the brand of haute couture clothing accessories and, of course, perfume. Givenchy was created in 1952 by Hubert de Givenchy. So, how do you pronounce correctly this French brand? You will simply say Givenchy. 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 G-I in French will be pronounced J. And, of course, vent and at the end, C-H-Y will be pronounced chi. Okay, so you will simply pronounce Givenchy. Please do not pronounce Givenchy. It's totally wrong. Did you know that the famous little black dress that Audrey Hepburn wears in Breakfast at Tiffany is one of the Givenchy's most iconic design? In fact, it could be said that Givenchy is to blame for the little black dress slogan. I hope you enjoyed this video. I wish you a good day. If you want to watch a more video about luxury brand, you can just click right there. Have a good day. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today, we will learn how to pronounce the longest word in the French vocabulary. It's not really the longest because it comes from the medical vocabulary, so it's not considered as the longest, but it's indeed the longest in the dictionary. It's a 32 letter word. So how do you pronounce this complicated word? You will say glycosylphosphatidylethanolamine. Je répète, gly Glycosylphosphatidylethanolamine. One more time, but faster. Glycosylphosphatidylethanolamine. 
Wow, even for a French, it's very hard. Did you know that the longest word in French is anticonstitutionnellement? And I created a video to teach you how to pronounce correctly this word. So feel free to watch it and, and subscribe to my channel to know more about French pronunciation. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce correctly the name of this French dish of sliced potatoes baked in milk or cream using the gratin technique. Maybe you recognize this delicious meal. I'm talking about gratin dauphinois. So how do you pronounce it correctly in French step by step? You will say gratin dauphinois. Gratin dauphinois. In French, P and H give the sound F. So gratin dauphinois. Gratin dauphinois. Did you know that the gratin dauphinois come from the Dauphiné region in Bonjour and welcome to a new French pronunciation video. Today we will learn how to pronounce correctly the name of this French perfume, cosmetic and skincare house which is among the oldest in the world. Maybe you recognize it? Guerlain. So how do you pronounce it? You will simply say Guerlain. 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 Did you know that the house was founded in Paris in 1828 by the perfumer Pierre François Pascal Guerlain? It's really old and it was run by the Guerlain family until 1994. Now it's owned by LVMH. LVMH, the biggest luxury group in the world. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to our channel and like this video. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this apparatus designed for efficiently carrying out execution by beheading. And it's the French that proudly invented this thing. Proudly, I'm not sure. But how do you pronounce it correctly in French? You would simply say guillotine. 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 Here, the complicated thing is the double L with the O. You will pronounce it yo. So, guillotine. Did you know that the guillotine is best known for its use in France, particularly during the French Revolution, where the revolution supporters celebrate it as the people avenger and the revolution opponent vilified it as the preeminent symbol of the violence of the reign of terror. We cut the head of many people, unfortunately, back then. I hope you enjoy this sad video if it's the case please do subscribe to my channel à bientôt salut bonjour and welcome everyone today we will learn how to pronounce the name of the green beans in french how do you pronounce it correctly you will simply say haricot vert haricot vert a ri co vert I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel to support my work and watch more videos about food pronunciation. A bientôt, salut! 
Bonjour and welcome. Today we are looking at how to pronounce Hermès. Hermès is a French luxury design house established in 1837. It specializes in high quality and expensive leather goods, lifestyle accessories, home furnishing, perfumery, jewelry, watches and ready to wear. It's a very exclusive French brand. So How do you pronounce Hermès? You will simply say Hermès. Hermès. The H in French is totally silent, so do not pronounce it. Do not say Hermès, but just Hermès. Did you know that Hermès is partly known for its famous bag, the Kelly and the Birkin? Both bags were named in honor of Grace Kelly, the American actress that became Princess of Monaco, and Jen Berkin, an English and French singer and actress. I hope you enjoyed this video about Hermès. If you want to watch and listen more videos about luxury brands, please do subscribe to our channel and watch the video just right there. Have a good day! Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce correctly this word that mean person who is sexually attracted to people of their own sex. They can be lesbian, they can be gay, and English pronounce it homosexual. But our French pronounce it correctly. You will simply say homosexual. Homosexuel. Homosexuel. The H is totally silent, so do not say homosexuel, but just homosexuel. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome to a new French pronunciation video. Today, we will learn how to say correctly the name of this French professional footballer who play as a goalkeeper and captain for both Tottenham Hotspur and the France national team. So, how do we pronounce his name? We will simply say Hugo Lloris. Hugo Lloris. You noticed that Lloris have a double L at the end, so you have to pronounce it Lloris. Lloris. Hugo Lloris. Did you know that Hugo Lloris is the second player after Lilian Thuram that plays the most game with the French national team? And normally, in few months, he will be the player with the most game for the French national team. I hope you enjoy this video. I wish you a good day. Don't forget to subscribe and to watch more videos about football players, for example. A bientôt. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this French actress described as one of the best actress in the world. Hmm, yes, she is known for a portrayal of cold and disdainful character devoid of morality. So, how do you pronounce her name correctly? You will pronounce it Isabelle Huppert. Isabelle Huppert. Isabelle Huppert. Isabelle Huppert. Did you know that Isabelle Huppert is among the most prolific actress, having worked in Italia, Russia, Central Europe and Asia? Also, English language movie, including Evans Gate, Bedroom Window, The Disappearance of Eleanor Rigby, Louder Than Bombs, Greta, Frankie, Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris, and many more. She's a legend in France, so it's important to know how to pronounce her name. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today, very important video because we will learn how to pronounce the name of the most famous French sandwich. Made with a fresh baguette, sliced open, 
spread with salty butter and filled with slice of ham. Mmm. So how do you pronounce it correctly in French? You will say jambon beurre. Jambon beurre. Jambon beurre. Ham and butter. Did you know that each day in France, over 3 million jambon beurre sandwiches are sold, more than almost any other kind of sandwich, except for fast food hamburgers. That's crazy, 3 million jambon beurre. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to our channel and watch more videos just right there. A bientôt, salut. Bonjour and welcome to a new French pronunciation video. Today we will learn how to express love in French. English say I love you, German say ich liebe dich, and then Italian say ti amo. But how do you pronounce I love you in French correctly? You will simply say je t'aime. Je t'aime. Je t'aime. Je t'aime. Please do not pronounce the I at the end and do not say je t'aime. It's not romantic at all. Je t'aime. I recommend you to travel to Paris and say je t'aime to your loved one in front of the Eiffel Tower. Oh, that's romantic. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel. Je vous aime. A bientôt. Salut. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this very famous French actor and comedian. He began his career as a stand-up comedian in Paris, yes, before guest starring in comedic television program and film. And he is now known all over the world. So how do you pronounce his name correctly in French? You will say Jean Dujardin. Jean du Jardin. Jean du Jardin. Did you know that du Jardin garnered international fame and widespread acclaim with the performance of Georges Valentin in the 2011 award winning silent movie The Artist? The role won him numerous awards, including the Academy Award for Best Actor, the first for a French actor and even a golden globe. This is huge. We love you and we are proud of you, Jean Dujardin. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel and watch more videos. A bientôt, salut. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this French politician who was a member of the National Assembly from 2017 to 2022. He was also the, he also led the France Insoumise group in the National Assembly at the same period and he ran in 2022 for the presidential race and he lost unfortunately. So how do we pronounce his name correctly? We will say Jean-Luc Mélenchon. Jean-Luc Mélenchon. Jean-Luc Mélenchon. Jean-Luc Mélenchon. I hope you enjoyed this video. I wish you an amazing day. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video. Bye bye. Salut. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this super famous French actor and producer initially associated with the new wave of the 1960s. He was a major French film star for several decades from the 60s onwards. Ah la la, he's really a legend for us. So how do we pronounce his name correctly in French? You will say Jean-Paul Belmondo. Jean-Paul Belmondo. Jean-Paul Belmondo. Did you know that during his career he was called as the French counterpart of actors such as James Dean, Marlon Brando or 
Humphrey Bogart, described as an icon and national treasure of France. It's really true. He was an icon and a treasure of France. Unfortunately, he passed away in 2021. Rest in peace, legend. We will never forget you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel and watch more videos about French actor and actress. A bientôt, salut. Bonjour and welcome to a new French pronunciation video. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this French haute couture and prêt-à-porter fashion designer. He is very known and he was described as an enfant terrible, terrible kid of the fashion industry and is known for his unconventional design with motifs including corset, marinière and tin cans. So how do you pronounce Jean-Paul Gauthier? You will simply say Jean-Paul Gauthier. Jean-Paul Gauthier. Do not pronounce Jean, okay? It's Jean. Jean-Paul Gauthier. Did you know that Jean-Paul Gauthier is now retired? He did it after his last show at the Paris Fashion Week. I hope you enjoyed this video. I wish you an amazing day. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video. Bye bye. Salut. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Bonjour and welcome to a new French pronunciation video. Today we will learn how to say correctly the name of this super famous French striker that play for Real Madrid. Everyone know him, especially now he's at the top of his level. So how do you pronounce Karim Benzema? You will say Karim Benzema. Karim Benzema. Karim Benzema. Did you know that Karim Benzema is in the history of the Real Madrid? He's now at the second place of the top striker of the team, just behind Cristiano Ronaldo. What a player. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel and watch more videos about French player just right here. A bientôt, salut. Bonjour and welcome to a new French pronunciation video. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this French professional footballer who plays as a forward for Ligue 1 club Paris Saint-Germain and the French national team also. He is considered as one of the best players in the world and also one of the highest paid. So how do you pronounce his name? You will say Kylian Mbappé. Kylian Mbappé. You have an accent at the end, so you will pronounce E. Mbappé and not Mbapp. Kylian Mbappé. Did you know that he is the second teenager to score in a World Cup final just after the King Pelé? Yes. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to watch more videos about football player, click just right there. And please subscribe to our channel. Bye bye, salut, bonne journée. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this French footballer who play also in the national team. And he play as a center back for West Ham United in Premier League. So how do you pronounce his name correctly? You will say Kurt Zuma. Kurt Zuma. Kurt Zuma. Did you know that Kurt Zuma has been sentenced to 180 hours of community service after pleading guilty to kicking and slapping a cat? The West Ham defender was ended a 12 month community order and also banned from keeping cats for 5 years. Kurt, 
Be careful of your compartment with cat. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to watch more video about football player, click just right there. And please subscribe to our channel. Bye bye, salut, bonne journée. Bonjour and welcome to a new French pronunciation video. Today we are looking at how to pronounce the name of this French luxury perfume and cosmetic house that distribute products all over the world and part of L'Oréal Luxury Product Division. So how do you pronounce it? You will simply say Lancôme. 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 Did you know that the name Lancôme was inspired by the forest of Lancôme? that lie in the Indre Valley in the earth of France in the region of Bren. The name was chosen by Guillaume's wife Elisabeth Dornano. The rose in the area inspired the company symbol of the single golden rose. Now you know everything about Lancôme, including the pronunciation. I hope you enjoyed this video please do support my work by subscribing to this channel and if you want to watch more video, it's just right there. Have a good day, bonne journée, salut. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this very famous place in Paris, especially for tourists. I'm sure you heard about because it is located in the 16 arrondissements across the Seine from the Eiffel Tower. So how do you pronounce it correctly in French? Before that, please do subscribe to my channel to support my work. Thank you so much. So in French, you will say Trocadéro, le Trocadéro, le Trocadéro. Le Trocadéro. Did you know that this place is actually quite big? You can see there the Fontaine de Chaillot and the Eiffel Tower from the Place du Trocadéro. It's a very nice view to take picture. You also have the Trocadéro Palace and many more. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome everyone to a new French pronunciation video. Today we will learn how to pronounce correctly this word that describes a homosexual woman. The word is also used for women in relation to their sexual identity or sexual behavior, regardless of sexual orientation. Okay? So English pronounce it lesbian, but how French pronounce it correctly? You will simply say lesbienne, 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 une lesbienne. Did you know that the concept of lesbienne to differentiate women with a shared sexual orientation evolved in the 20th century? Through history, women have not had the same freedom or independence as men to pursue homosexual relationship. So we are really evolving right now and especially now in 2022. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel. I wish you a very good day. A bientôt, salut. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce this famous for later. In French, it means lesbienne, bisexual, gay, and trans. And it's the same kind of in English, but how do you say this for later correctly in French? First, you have to learn the alphabet, but you can just say LGBT. L-G-B-T. Again, L G B T. So this for later again mean lesbian, bisexual, gay, et trans. 
I hope you enjoy this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel and watch more videos. A bientôt, salut. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this French actor and comedian. He is France's favorite actor according to a series of polls conducted since 1960. Yeah, he's really popular in France. And you might know him if you like French movie. So how do you pronounce his name correctly in French? You will pronounce it Louis de Funès. Louis de Funès. Louis de Funès. Louis de Funès. And did you know that in addition to his immense fame in the French speaking world, he was also very known in German speaking country, former Soviet Union, Eastern Bloc, Italy, Spain, Greece, Albania, Turkey, Israel, Mauritius. But despite his international fame, Louis de Funès remained almost unknown in the English speaking world. He was exposed to a wider audience only once in the United States in 1974 for the release of The Mad Adventure of Rabbi Jacob. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel. A bientôt, salut. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of the third largest city and second largest metropolitan area of France. It is located at the confluence of the rivers Rhône and Saône, 391 kilometers southeast of Paris. So, how do you pronounce it in French correctly? You will say Lyon. 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 Please do not pronounce it Lyon. It's totally wrong. Lyon. Did you know that Lyon is known to be the capital of the gastronomy and it was the place where the famous chef Paul Bocuse had his restaurant, a bit in the province of Lyon, but near Lyon. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel. A bientôt, salut. Bonjour everyone and welcome. Today we will learn how to pronounce correctly the name of this French lawyer and politician who ran for the French presidency in 2012, 2017 and 2022. She is leading the Rassemblement National, a far-right party in France. So how do we pronounce her name correctly? We will say Marine Le Pen. Marine Le Pen. Le Pen, Marine Le Pen, Marine Le Pen. Did you know that the father of Marine Le Pen is Jean-Marie Le Pen, also a French far-right politician who served as the president of the National Front? I hope you enjoyed this video. I wish you an amazing day. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video. Bye bye. Salut. Bonjour everyone, today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this French actress, film producer, singer and now environmentalist, known for her in independent film and also blockbusters. She has received various accolades including an Academy Award and a Golden Globe for his role in La Môme. She is known in France and internationally, so how do you pronounce her name correctly in French? You will say Marion Cotillard. Marion Cotillard. Do not pronounce the D at the end and simply say Marion Cotillard. Did you know that Marion Cotillard got really known in France with a series of movies called Taxi, produced by Luc Besson, and people was not expecting her to succeed internationally like that. So congratulations Marion, we are also proud of you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce one of the most used 
word in the French vocabulary. No, it's not bonjour, or no, it's not merci. It's totally different. English say shit, but how do you pronounce correctly this word in French? You would say merde. 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 Did you know that merde would be in the top 100 words pronounced by French people? It's huge and if you travel to France, you will see French people always use it with the word putain as well. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. If it's the case, please support my work by subscribing to my channel and watch more videos about French pronunciation. A bientôt, salut! Um... Uh, bonjour everyone, today we are looking at how to pronounce correctly the name of this French brand of food created in 2004 by Augustin Paluel Marmont and Michel de Rovira. The brand started by producing flavored cookie. Delicious, by the way. So how do you pronounce it in French? You will say Michel et Augustin. Michel et Augustin. Do not pronounce it Augustine, but Augustin, Michel et Augustin. Did you know that since 2015, Michel et Augustin are in the USA? They are based in Brooklyn and they start selling their cookie square national. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this former French football player, a legend, manager and administrator. He was the president of the UEFA until 2015. So how do you pronounce his name correctly? You will say Michel Platini. Michel Platini. Michel Platini. Did you know that Michel Platini is regarded as one of the greatest footballers of all time? Platini won the Ballon d'Or three times in a row, 1983, 1984, 1985. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to watch more videos about football players, click just right there. And please subscribe to our channel. Bye bye, salut, bonne journée. Bonjour everyone and welcome. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of my favorite French dessert. It's flaky, buttery, a little crispy. I'm talking about the millefeuille. So how do you pronounce it correctly with the real French accent? So you will simply say millefeuille, millefeuille. Millefeuille. So, pronounce it carefully. The second word, feuille, is difficult. You will say feuille. 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 Millefeuille. Did you know that the term millefeuille is French for 1000 petals, referring to the decadent layering of pastry in the dessert. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please do subscribe to our channel and watch more videos if you want. I wish you an amazing day. Bye bye. Salut. Bonjour everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce in French the name of this large hill in Paris 18 arrondissements. It is 130 meters high and give its name to the surrounding district, part of the right bank of Paris. And you can see there's the Basilic of the Sacré Coeur. Amazing place. So how do you pronounce it in French correctly? You will say Montmartre. Montmartre. Please do not pronounce it Montmartre. It's totally wrong. Please do Montmartre. Did you know that near the end of the 19th century and at the beginning of the 20th, during 
the Belle Époque, many artists lived, worked or had studio in or around Montmartre, including Modigliani, Claude Monet, Pierre-Auguste Renoir, Edgar Degas, Henri de Toulouse-Lautrec, and even Pablo Picasso. Wow, I think it was nice to walk around this place back then. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel. A bientôt, salut. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce this French dish made from cooked mussel and onion in a white wine marinade. Some English call it sailor style mussel, but in French we will say moule marinière. Moule marinière. Moule marinière. Did you know that you can eat a moule marinière in the west coast of France, particularly in Brittany or in the Atlantic Ocean? Yes, I recommend you this French dish. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to this channel and watch more videos about food pronunciation. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome to a new French pronunciation video. Today, we will learn how to pronounce the name of this famous French footballer who played as a central midfielder for Premier League club Chelsea and the French national team. So, how do you pronounce his name? You will simply say N'Golo Kante. N'Golo Kante. N'Golo Kante. N'Golo Kante. Did you know that despite being very rich, N'Golo Kante keep a simple lifestyle? He goes in training with a Mini Cooper. So it's still a nice car, but a simple car for a football player. And people love him so much for that. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to watch more videos about football player, click just right there. And please subscribe to our channel. Bye bye, salut, bonne journée. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this very famous medieval Catholic cathedral located in Ile de la Cité in Paris. So how do you pronounce it correctly in French? I will tell you, but before that, please do subscribe to my channel to discover more videos about French pronunciation. So you will pronounce it Notre Dame de Paris. Notre Dame de Paris. Notre Dame de Paris. Notre Dame de Paris. Did you know that on April 15, 2019, just before 620, a fire broke out beneath the roof of the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris? By the time the structure of fire was extinguished, the building spires had collapsed. Most of its roof had been destroyed and its upper wall were severely damaged. French President Emmanuel Macron said that the cathedral would be restored by 2024 and launched a fundraising campaign which brought in pledge of over 1 billion euro as of 22 April 2019. It's huge, 1 billion. I wish people could be as generous for human and people who have hunger in Africa, for example. I wish you a good day. Bye bye. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of the floating island in French because yes, it's a French dessert consisting of meringue floating on crème anglaise, vanilla custard. The meringue is prepared from whipped egg white, sugar and vanilla extract. And it's honestly delicious. So how do you pronounce the name of this dessert in French? You will say œuf à la neige. Oeuf à la neige. Oeuf à la neige. Literally, eggs in snow. That makes sense. 
Uh, did you know that the earliest known English language reference to the desert is the art of cookery made plain and easy in 1747 by Anna Glass? Quite old, actually. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel. A bientôt, salut! Hi and welcome to a new French pronunciation video. Today we will learn how to say the name of this French footballer that play in Barcelona. He's very known all over the world and he's very good. So how do you pronounce his name? You will say Ousmane Dembélé. Ousmane Dembélé. So Dembélé have two e with an accent, so you have to pronounce it e. Dembélé. Ousmane Dembélé. Did you know that Ousmane Dembélé is only 25 years old, as in 2022, and is a very talented player despite sometimes his lack of motivation. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to watch more video about football player, click just right there. And please subscribe to our channel. Bye bye, salut, bonne journée. Bonjour and welcome. Today we are looking at how to pronounce correctly the name of this very famous viennoiserie in France, made like a croissant with puff pastry, very buttery and served with one or two sticks of chocolate. We call it pain au chocolat or chocolatine in the southwest of France and Canada. Pain au chocolat literally means chocolate bread. Pain means bread and chocolat means chocolate. So you will pronounce pain au chocolat. The sound pain comes from the nose. Pain au chocolat. I repeat pain au chocolat. For the little story, pain au chocolat is called chocolatine in the southwest of France and there is a huge debate, even fight, to know what is the correct name among French. So if you are in the southwest of France, for example in Bordeaux area, I recommend you to say chocolatine. The baker will be nicer with you. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to this channel and you can also watch more video on how to pronounce French viennoiserie. Bye, salut! Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this swirly cinnamon roll looking pastry, French of course, that's derived from the croissant. It is made from laminated dough and it's filled with a pastry cream stuffed with plump resin. So how do you pronounce it in French? You would simply say pain au raisin. Pain au raisin. Pain au raisin. Repeat. Pain au raisin. Did you know that the pain au raisin is one of the favorite pastry of French people? They are also crazy about it. It's, I would say, the third favorite pastry of French people behind croissant and pain au chocolat. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do subscribe to our channel to support my work and you can watch more videos on pronunciation. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this French country bread essentially made as a sordo but with a special touch of rye and wool wheat. So how do you pronounce it? You will simply say un pain de campagne. Pain de campagne. Pain de campagne. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to our channel and watch more video about bread and pastries just right there. Have a good day. Salut. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce in French the name of this delicious 
French rye bread full of malty chocolatey flavor with its crumb less airy and more dense. The rye flour give this bread a very rustic taste. Some love it, some other hate it. So how do you pronounce it? You will simply say pain de seigle. Pain de seigle. Pain de seigle. Pain de seigle. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please subscribe to our channel to support my work and watch other videos about French pronunciation. Salut, bye bye. Bonjour les amis. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this French toast. It's a dish made of sliced bread soaked into beaten eggs, sugar and typically milk then pan fried. Mmm, I love it. So how do you pronounce it in French correctly? You will say pain perdu. Pain perdu. Pain perdu. Did you know that pain perdu mean lost bread? Perdu mean lost pain mean bread, lost bread. And you can use your old bread to make pain perdu. That's why the bread is never lost in France. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to our channel and watch more videos about food pronunciation. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour guys, today we will learn how to pronounce in French the name of this specialty made with pork liver along with cherry wine and special herbs and spice. You can eat that all over France. People love it. So how do you pronounce it correctly in French with a typical Parisian accent? You will say pâté de campagne. Pâté de campagne. Pâté de campagne. Campagne. Pâté de campagne. Do you know that pâté de campagne can be also called terrine de campagne? I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel and you can also watch more videos about food pronunciation just right there. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome to a new French pronunciation video. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this super famous French footballer who plays for Serie A club Juventus and for the national French team. He plays as a central midfielder, but he can be deployed as a left winger, attacking midfielder, defensive midfielder, and he really have great technique skills, sometimes inconsistent. So how do we pronounce his name? We would say Paul Pogba. Paul Pogba. So in French, A, you make the sound O. Paul Pogba. Did you know that Paul Pogba have two brothers that was also professional player? Florentin Pogba and Mathias Pogba. They were not as successful as Paul, but they still play well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do subscribe for more videos of French pronunciation. A bientôt, salut. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this male sex organ reaching its full size during puberty. In addition to its sexual function, it acts also as a conduit for urine to leave the body. I'm talking about what English called penis. But how do you pronounce it in French correctly? You will say penis, penis, penis. Did you know that you need to have erection regularly to keep your penis in shape? It's like a muscle. It has to be essentially exercised. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this male sex organ reaching its full size during puberty. In addition to its sexual function, it acts also as a conduit for urine to leave the body. 
I'm talking about what English called penis. But how do you pronounce it in French correctly? You will say penis. 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 Did you know that you need to have erection regularly to keep your penis in shape? It's like a muscle. It has to be essentially exercised. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this famous place before called the Place Louis XIV, Place de la Révolution and many more names. It is located in central Paris, situated on the right bank of the Seine, between the Tuileries Garden and the western terminus of the Champs Élysées. So, how do you pronounce it? Before that, please do subscribe to my channel to support my work. Back to pronunciation, you will say Place de la Concorde. Place de la Concorde. Place de la Concorde. Did you know that this place was intended to glorify King Louis XV? Though during the French Revolution, various royals, including Louis XVI, were executed there. Mm, sad story. In modern Paris, a temporary stand is built in the square each year from which dignitaries review the military parade on Bastille Day. I hope you enjoyed this video. I wish you an amazing day. A bientôt. Salut. Bonjour everyone, today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this iconic place in Paris. Originally called Place Royale, it is the oldest planned square in Paris, France. It is located in the Marais district, a very lovely place in the heart of Paris, and it straddles the dividing line between the 3rd and the 4th arrondissement of Paris. It was a fashionable and expensive square to live in during the 17th and 18th centuries and one of the main reasons for the chic nature of Le Marais among the Parisian nobility. Yes. So, how do you pronounce it correctly in French? You will say Place des Vosges. Place des Vosges. Please do not pronounce it Place des Vosges. Not at all. Place des Vosges. The first S of Vosges is silent and the last one as well. Place des Vosges. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel and watch more videos about French pronunciation. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of one of the most iconic places in Paris. This place is located in the 9th arrondissement of Paris, between the boulevard de Clichy and the boulevard de Rochechouart, and it's very known because it's in the heart of the red district of Paris. So, how do you pronounce it? Before that, please do subscribe to my channel to support my work. Thank you. So, you will pronounce it Place Pigalle. Place Pigalle. Do not pronounce it Place Pigalle, but Place Pigalle. If you are looking for places to stay in Paris, you will see and find many hotels and Airbnb near Place Pigalle. This place is relatively safe, especially at the south of Place Pigalle, so you can book a nice hotel for a cheap budget. I wish you a good day, please do subscribe to my channel and watch more videos. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this very famous French dish of boiled beef and vegetables, usually served as two courses, the broth and then the solid ingredient. It's a 
pillar of the French cuisine. So how do you pronounce it in French correctly? You will say pot au feu. Pot au feu. Here you need to make a link between the T and the AU. Pot au feu. Pot au feu. Pot au feu. Did you know that the pot au feu honors the table of the rich and poor alike? It has been called a national dish of France. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to our channel and watch more videos about food pronunciation. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this famous French footballer who play as a center back for Paris Saint-Germain and the French national team. So how do you pronounce his name? You will say Presnel Kimpembe. Presnel Kimpembe. I repeat slowly. Presnel Kim Pembe. So you have to pronounce the two M of Kim Pembe. Okay? Presnel Kim Pembe. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do subscribe to our channel and watch more videos about French football player. A bientôt, salut. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today, we will learn how to pronounce the name of this French tart consisting of pastry crust filled with savory custard, piece of cheese made with good butter and bacon. Yes, I love this dish. So how do you pronounce it in French correctly? You will say quiche Lorraine. Quiche Lorraine. Quiche Lorraine. Quiche Lorraine. Did you know that the quiche Lorraine can be served hot, warm, or even cold? Perfect, for example, for a picnic in Paris. I hope you enjoy this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel to support my work and you can watch more videos just right here. Salut, au revoir. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this Swiss or Savoyard dish. Also popular in the other Alpine countries, including French, of course, based on eating cheese and scrapping of the melted parts. You serve it with potatoes and it's delicious. So how do you pronounce it correctly in French? You will say raclette. 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 Raclette au fromage. Cheese raclette. Did you know that raclette cheese is a Swiss type cheese marketed specifically to be used for this dish? A notable product being the raclette du Valais. I hope you enjoy this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel and watch more videos about food pronunciation. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to say correctly the name of this very famous French Provençal dish of stewed vegetable originating in Nice and sometimes referred to as ratatouille niçoise. But French will just say ratatouille. So how do you pronounce it correctly step by step? First, you have to know how to pronounce the air like a French. So, ratatouille, ratatouille, ratatouille. Did you know that the word ratatouille derives from the Occitan ratatola and is related to the French ratouiller and tatouiller, expressive form of the verb touiller, to stir up. So that's the meaning behind ratatouille, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do subscribe to my channel to support my work. You can also watch more videos about food pronunciation just right there. A bientôt, salut. Bonjour and welcome to a new French pronunciation video. 
Today, we will learn how to pronounce the name of this very famous street in Paris, known to be one of the most luxurious and fashionable streets in the world, thanks to the presence of virtually every major global fashion house. But before that, please do subscribe to my channel to support my work. So how do you pronounce the name of this famous street in Paris? You will say... Rue du Faubourg Saint-Honoré. Rue du Faubourg Saint-Honoré. You have to do a link between the T and the H. So, Saint-Honoré. Rue du Faubourg Saint-Honoré. The J of Faubourg is totally silent. Did you know that Rue du Faubourg Saint-Honoré welcome all the major fashion and luxury house and as well the Hotel de Pontalba, the residence of the United States ambassador to France, the Embassy of Canada, the Embassy of the United Kingdom and numerous art gallery. Definitely you should visit Rue du Faubourg Saint-Honoré during your next trip to France. A bientôt Bonjour, bonjour everyone, today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this very famous French cake that you can find in all the bakery in France, made with layers of classic puff pastry, bowls of choux pastry and pastry cream. This dessert is a true representation of French confectionery hearts. So how do you pronounce it? You will say Saint-Honoré. Saint-Honoré. So you will have to make a link between the T and Honoré. You will say Saint-Honoré. 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 Did you know that this cake is named after Saint-Honoré, the French patron, saint of baker, this intricate Saint-Honoré cake unique all the fundamental components of French pastry making puff pastry, vanilla custard, choux pastry and caramelized sugar. It's really a must try when you visit France. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, support me by subscribing to this channel and you can also watch more videos. Have a good day, salut! Bonjour and welcome everyone! Today, we will learn how to pronounce the name of this delicious salad, very good for the body and very known in France. I was eating this dish very often when I was young. So, how do you pronounce it correctly in French? You will say, salade de lentilles. Salade de lentilles. Salade de lentilles. Did you know that the lentilles coming from Le Puy are one of the best lentilles in the world? So if you get the chance to eat lentille du Puy, you will really love it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to our channel and watch more videos about French pronunciation. Salut, bye bye. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce one of the most difficult words in French. In English we say locksmith, but in French it's way more complicated. So how do you say it correctly? You will say serrurier. Serrurier. Now let's break it down. Serrurier. Ye. C'est rur ye. It's a free syllabus. Serrurier. Please practice at home. Did you know that if we live in France, serrurier are sometimes a bit scammy. They will try to take benefit of the situation and give you super expensive price for little services, especially on the weekend. Ah, French people, we don't really like serrurier. Sorry, guys. Yes, we have bad experience. I hope 
you enjoyed this video, if it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel and watch more videos about French pronunciation. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome everyone! Today we will learn how to pronounce one of the most famous words in the world. Yeah, people talk about, people love it, but how do you pronounce it correctly in French? You will simply say sex. 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 That's it. I hope you enjoyed this short video. I wish you a good day, but please do subscribe to my channel before to leave this video. A bientôt, salut. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce one of the most famous words in the world. Yeah, people talk about, people love it. But how do you pronounce it correctly in French? You will simply say sex. 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 That's it. I hope you enjoyed this short video. I wish you a good day, but please do subscribe to my channel before to leave this video. A bientôt, salut. Bonjour everyone, today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this French actress. As a teenager, she achieved popularity with her debut film La Boom, receiving a César Award for Most Promising Actress. She became a film star in Europe with a string of successful films, L'Étudiante, Pacific Palisade, Fanfan. She even played in one of the James Bond, The World Is Not Enough. So she is known in France, but also worldwide. So how do you pronounce her name correctly? You will say Sophie Marceau. Sophie Marceau. The letter E A U makes the sound O in French. So Sophie Marceau. Did you know that Sophie Marceau is a symbol of beauty in France? She appeared in more than 300 magazine covers worldwide, including Vol, Elle, Madame Figaro, Paris Match, L'Officiel, Tatler, and many more. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel and watch more videos about French actress and actor pronunciation. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome everyone! Today, we will learn how to say the name of this very known French dish all over the world. It's a baked egg-based dish originating in France in the early 18th century, made with bacon and cheddar and that English and American call cheese soufflé. How do you pronounce it in French? You will say soufflé au fromage. Soufflé au fromage, soufflé au fromage, soufflé au fromage. Did you know that the soufflé au fromage is more known abroad than in France? French people like soufflé but they don't eat soufflé every day or they don't eat it that much. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to our channel and watch more videos just right here. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome everyone! Today we will learn how to pronounce correctly the name of this iconic French dish made with meat stock and onion and often served gratiné with crouton or a larger piece of bread covered with cheese floating on top. Mm. So, how do you pronounce it correctly in French? You will say soup à l'oignon. Soup à l'oignon. If you notice, the last word, oignon, is written oignon. You will not pronounce it oignon, but just oignon. Soup à l'oignon. Did you know that soup à l'oignon is way more famous abroad than in France? French people like soup à l'oignon, but they don't eat that often this meal. If you enjoyed this video, I wish you an amazing day. 
please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video. Bye bye, salut. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this delicious French dish made with raw ground beef, usually served with onion, capers, mushroom, pepper, and on top with a raw egg yolk. Mmm. And with a raw egg and served with a raw egg yolk on top. So how do you pronounce it correctly in French? You will say steak tartare. Steak tartare. Steak tartare. Did you know that steak tartare is a typical Parisian brasserie dish? You can find it in all the classic restaurants in Paris. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel. A bientôt, salut. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of my favorite French pastry, the lemon tart. The lemon tart has a shallow side, a crumbly, sweet, cookie-like crust and classic lemon curd filling with just enough butter to make it creamy and not too sour, but a bit sour. So how do you pronounce it? You will say tarte au citron, tarte au citron, tarte au citron, tarte au citron. And if you like a meringue on top of your tarte au citron, you can order a tarte au citron meringue. Tarte au citron meringue. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please support my work by subscribing to this channel. And you can watch also more videos. Have a good day. Salut et à bientôt. Bonjour les amis and welcome to a new French pronunciation video. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this delicious French dessert called by English and American apple pie. So how do you pronounce it in French correctly? You will say tarte aux pommes. Tarte aux pommes. Tarte aux pommes. Tarte O pom. Did you know that the best apple for tarte aux pommes are the Braburn or the Ariane or even the Bancroft? I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel and watch more videos about food pronunciation. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this delicious dessert. It's a tart and this tart was named after the Tatin sister who invented it and served it in their hotel as its signature dish. It's a pastry in which the fruit is caramelized in butter and sugar before the tart is baked. It's super delicious. So, how do you pronounce it in French correctly? You will say tarte tatin. Tarte tatin. Tarte tatin. You have to pronounce the R like the French do. You can also say tarte tatin. Do not pronounce it tarte tatine, but just tarte tatin. Did you know that according to the legend, Tarte Tatin was created by accident. One of the Tatin sisters dropped the tart on the floor and put it back. The apple was all over and it created the Tarte Tatin. Of course, it's just a legend. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel and watch more videos about food pronunciation. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour everyone and welcome to a new French pronunciation video. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this dish from Savoie in the French Alpes. It is made with potato, reblochon cheese, lardon and onion. A splash of white wine can be added too. It's always more fun with wine. 
So how do you pronounce it correctly in French? You will say tartiflette, 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 tartiflette. Uh, did you know that the tartiflette is uh, really, really known in France and really popular? If you go to the French Alps, you have to try this famous dish. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce a beautiful word in French that mean love in English. So how do you pronounce love in French? You will say amour, 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 amour. We use this word a lot, but do you know the real definition of amour. Feeling of affection and sexual attraction between two people. Feeling of attachment of mutual affection between friends or members of the same family. Let's live our life with a lot of amour. I wish you a beautiful day. Please do subscribe to my channel before to leave this video. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we are looking on how to pronounce the name of this male genital gland that produce sperm and that give life. Generally men have two, sometimes one, it still work, but two is better. So how do you pronounce it correctly in French? You will say testicule, testicule. 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 Did you know that according to studies, men with small testicles will be better dad and will have less risk of cardiac problem? Yes, that's true. I find this online and there is a good source about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the name of this delicious French dish. It is made with mashed potato, meat, generally ground beef, and it's really, really known in France. So how do you pronounce it correctly in French? Before that, please do subscribe to my channel to support my work. Okay, so you will pronounce it Ashi Parmentier. Ashi Parmentier. Ashi Parmentier. The H is totally silent, so do not pronounce it Hashi Parmentier, but just Ashi Parmentier. Did you know that this dish was named in the honor of Antoine Parmentier that beat the tuberculose, a very known disease back then when Louis XVI was running France. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we learn how to pronounce correctly the name of this French professional footballer, former footballer that is a legend all over the world. He was an awesome striker. So how do you say his name correctly? You will say Thierry Henry. Thierry Henry. Thierry Henry. So the H at the beginning of Henry is totally silent. Do not pronounce it. Did you know that Henri became a prolific striker and Arsenal all-time leading scorer with 228 goals in all competition? It's huge. Thank you, legend. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe. A bientôt. Salut. Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce one of the most famous French dish. It's a French steak dish with a piece of foie gras on top 
And it's delicious. So how do you pronounce it in French correctly? You will say Tourne d'eau Rossini. Tourne d'eau Rossini. Tourne d'eau Rossini. Tourne d'eau Rossini. Did you know that the Tourne d'eau Rossini is named after the 19th century composer Giochino Rossini? Its invention is attributed to either French master chef Marie-Antoine Carême or Savoie Hotel chef Auguste Escoffier. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel and watch more videos about food pronunciation. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour and welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to pronounce the words to describe people that have a gender identity or gender expression that differ from the sex that they were assigned at birth. So, how do you say that correctly in French? English people will say transgender, but how French people say it? You will say transgenre, transgenre trans for trans and genre for gender. Un transgenre. Did you know that there is more and more transgenre in France and in the world? Many people feel trapped in a body that is not their body or not their sex. And that's a good thing that mentality change. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel. I wish you a great day. You can watch more videos about French pronunciation. A bientôt, salut! Bonjour everyone, today we will learn how to pronounce a very interesting idiom in French. English say asshole or butthole, but in French we like to say trou du cul. Trou du cul. Q. Trou mean hole, Q mean butt or ass. So, ass all. Trou du cul. Trou du cul is an insult of sexual nature, designating a stupid or haughty person. It is used more for men than for women. Yes. So, please be careful with this word, it's not that nice. I hope you enjoy this video. If it's the case, please do subscribe to my channel. A bientôt, salut!